Many think of the Women's Center as primarily serving Williamson County, but it actually serves eight counties in southern Illinois. Now, the group is putting on a fun event to raise funds, and our Brooke Slyer is live at the Car in Carbondale with more on this. So, Brooke, how is this event being put on safely? Good morning, Dave. Well, normally this event draws hundreds of people to the Carbondale Civic Center. Obviously, that cannot happen this year, so the event is going to be virtual. And again, you can go ahead and get those tickets right online at the Women's Center's website. But that's also where you can go ahead and do some bidding on some auction items. And here to tell me a little bit more this morning, again, is John Pfeiffer. So we're talking about auction items. I remember being here last year, and the whole table was filled with gift baskets and experiences. You guys have still some of that, you know, happening this we year. Do. So go ahead and fill us in. Yeah. Well, m most of the things that you saw here are a, a year ago lined up are now in our spare bedroom at home. Uh, I take pictures of them and enter them into our app where people will do all of the bidding. But, you know, we've we've made this progression over the last three or four years sort of away from sort of more things as you know a lot of people are trying to declutter and things like that and and sort of move toward experiences dining experiences trips things like that uh, unfortunately those are the very businesses that have been hit the hardest over the last year uh, they're struggling uh, they want to help uh, so we've tried to do some creative things this year but uh, we're a little lighter than normal on our auction items. So. so what he's trying to nicely say is if there's any businesses out there that would like to donate anything for the auction, to go ahead and contact them. Uh, that's, <laughs> yeah, that was Brooke who said that, but I concur because I always agree with Brooke. Uh, if, if you have anything you'd like to d donate, call the Women's Center at 549-4807, ask for John, and I'll be happy to take those things off your hands and, and put them to good use. But you do have a couple of cool things you're telling me about a trip to St. Louis that is available for this auction. Go ahead and fill those viewers in at home. Yeah, well, uh, well, we'll start with John A. Logan uh, every year from the president's office. Uh, regardless of who the president has been at John A. Logan, they give us a $1,000 tuition waiver uh, for the fall semester. And, you know, they're, they're super nice to work with. In fact, last year's winner... Uh, the, the class that they registered for an auto mechanics class in the fall. Uh, the class didn't happen because it needed to happen in person and it couldn't and John A. Logan was good enough to roll that voucher into the current semester. So, so they're great. Uh, the airport, Marion Veterans Airport, Cape Air, uh, they work with Lambert Field in St. Louis to put this uh, package together. Uh, this year it'll be two nights in St. Louis, a stay at the Union Station Hotel, uh, dining certificate, of course, the Cape Air tickets. Uh, there's a couple of events going on that weekend. Uh, he scheduled it for a weekend. The Cardinals were in town. Uh, the U.S. Women's Gymnastics uh, trials are going on. Uh, so if... Uh, if, if fans are going to be allowed to those events, then they're going to try to add tickets uh, as time progresses. So quite a few, you know, still good prizes out oh. there. We're we'll talking a little bit more about the prizes and, of course, the chocolate. That's going to be coming up later on the show. But for now, back to you in the studio.